This template is inspired by the, the content teams over at Zapier and Zozi, um, who both managed pretty similar content production pipelines using Google Sheets and Google Forms. Um, so the main challenge with content is coordination. Uh, if you're managing a distributed team of 20 or even more freelance writers and editors, um, just staying on the same page with when stuff's supposed to post, what the URL slug should be, um, and stuff like that, there's a big, big coordination burden and a high cost of, of screwing these things up. Um, so what this template does, and it pulls elements from both Zapier's process, and thanks to Matt for sharing this, the foundation for this template, and also the, uh, the landing page production process over at Zozi, helps you really stay on top of that coordination. Um, and the tools that it uses to do that, other than Google Sheets, obviously, um, it uses Google Forms to push new content ideas into the editorial calendar so that you have a, a, a distinct way of submitting new ideas and getting them on the board. Um, and then it uses Zapier to do a few things, to push approved posts up to WordPress, if you're using WordPress, um, to log those those actually publish posts back to your editorial calendar, um, and also to push publish dates to Google Calendar events, so you can look at your calendar and see when things should be going live. Um, really, the final output of this template is an editorial calendar. Um, it's an automated editorial calendar that you can can look at and and pay attention to one thing across your entire team. Um, and who should really be using this? I would say. This is for anyone who's managing a distributed content team where you have a number of different contributors and want to stay on top of it. Um, and in terms of, of action you can take, this is not one of those templates where it, it allows you to do something that you couldn't do otherwise. Obviously, there's a number of different ways to manage an editorial process. What this template is all about is saving time in, in doing kind of grunt work of coordination. So you can spend that time on higher value work. For example, for content, um, focusing on writing higher quality content, spending more time giving feedback to your writers and editors um, versus just, you know, kind of keeping the pipeline moving along. So all of us love doing, doing that higher value work. So there are four key steps to getting set up with this publishing automation template. Um, the first thing is using Google Forms uh, to send new posts, like you see here, uh, their title, their meta description, um, potential draft body text, uh, initial publish date, the URL slug, all the stuff that you see here. Um, there's a form that automatically gets created when you copy the sheet. Um, if you want to add new fields, you can add new fields here. But anytime you want to add a new idea to your editorial calendar, you can just fill out the form or have your writers fill out the form. Um, anyone who's coming up with ideas, it'll get piped in here. Um, and that'll allow you to add the idea to your calendar and actually properly schedule it. Uh, the second step after you've done that, and you'll see on this Getting Started tab here, um, it, it has tasks for all of these detailed steps. So you'll you'll be able to count your number of posts added, etc. Um, the second step is really using Zapier to set up some of the automations around your publishing process. Um, and if you've never used Zapier before, um, it essentially each zap is has a trigger, which is like you doing something in the sheet, and then an action, something that happens when you do that. So for example, we'd use this zap that we have on the screen here um, to create a Google Calendar event anytime you add a new post to the calendar. Uh, so you'll go through, there's a kind of drag and drop setup process with Zapier that should be pretty straightforward. They do a great job with, with helping you through that. Um, but the end result will be Google Calendar events set up for new posts. Um, similarly, you'll want to use Zapier to, if you use WordPress, to auto-publish um, new posts. So you can set up a, a, a similar zap that will load here. 
um, to create new WordPress posts from your your the rows of your calendar. So for example, if we set this up and then we set this draft to approved, it would create a post for us. Um, and then the last step with Zapier is really making sure that though that zap send creating new posts actually worked. So we could set set up a third zap that I linked to there um, to actually log new posts back to uh, back to the sheet so you can be sure that it that it actually posted. Um, and then that URL will pull back into the editorial calendar. So that's Zapier and some of the some of the pieces that you can you can set up to automate your workflow here, especially if you're using WordPress. Um, I think Zapier is great. Um, the last thing you want to do is really just use use this as a straight up Google Sheets editorial calendar. Um, so managing your your workflow, setting a month for a post, um, setting a price for a post, or or adding a contributor here, so you can track the budget by month, how much you're over and under spending. Um, and yeah, Matt Matt over at Zapier created a really great just like editorial calendar framework in Sheets. So you can just use it in that way as well. And that's it. Uh, if you want to dive in and make a copy of the template, you can do so from the, the link beneath this video. Uh, the getting started tab of the template contains all of the detailed instructions you need to get going, as well as tests. As, so as you go through each step, um, you'll be able to know like, okay, am I setting this up correctly or not? Um, but if you do have questions as you as you dive into it, um, feel free to holler uh, at losershq on Twitter. Uh, take care.